My brother, my sister, I believe you have a meaningful time with your master on the mountain. And as we talk about the Beatitudes, <clears throat> we see God wants you to be blessed. As seen even in the explanation through the Amplified Bible, blessed, that means happy, to be envied, spiritually prosperous, with life, joy, and satisfaction in God's favor and salvation, regardless of their outward conditions. Wow, what a definition for to be blessed. May we look into that definition to find more substance and uh, depth in the whole meaning of I'm blessing somebody and me telling somebody, ah, I'm blessed, man. God is good to me. I'm really blessed. So what does that mean? Oh, man, I'm happy. I'm here to be envied. I'm spiritually prosperous. I have life, joy. I have satisfaction in God's favor and salvation, regardless of my outward conditions. Maybe we must memorize that part so that we will remember when we say, I'm blessed, or tell people, I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. That I will remember all these facets by faith. That is what I speak over somebody, or that is what God has for my life. But in order to receive that, we need to understand also those nine principles. In the past, for a lot of you guys, we've talked about these principles already. The only thing I want to say today, not just to remind you, but to challenge you, that you will look into that principle as you spend time with your master on the mountain for the season or the sermon that he's giving you prophetically for your specific life. So it says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. What will we say about that? The poor in spirit, those who are pathetic. No, not from that point. Blessed are those, I believe, who's really humble, come with humility. That's coming with humility and the other word, honesty. Humility does not go without honesty. Not where the enemy will humiliate you in the context of shame. Not humility, humility connected with shame. But humility where honesty does not bring the fear of rejection, the fear of shame. But where honesty bring you into the place of laying down everything, putting my everything on the altar, giving my everything unto the Lord. That has to do with honesty and humility. Realizing that from my spirit, if there is nothing of God in my life, I am poor. I have nothing. Blessed are you when you can understand how to be honest, how to be humble, how to put everything on the altar to worship Him and to acknowledge and to declare that without Him you are nothing. For theirs, what belong to you, is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, I thought it was God's kingdom. Yes, it's God's kingdom. But the king of the kingdom, his words, his patterns, his pattern, the pattern of that kingdom will be yours. You will understand more and more the patterns of the kingdom of God. Because with that authority, the authority of the kingdom of God will be yours. It will be in your spirit. And in that way, when you humble yourself, God will lift you up so that the authority of from heaven and the kingdom of God will be in your life. You will have authority when you come with humility and honesty so that your humility is pure and genuine before God. I bless you with that, that you will have such a foundation with such an entrance point through the blood of Christ through the blood of Christ, we may enter through the blood of Christ so that humility is not connected with shame. That your honesty is not connected with shame. That your honesty and humility has to do with 
I lay my everything down before you. May you be blessed.